Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com. Welcome back to another tutorial for Serum. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at pad sound that I made, which was inspired by Justice's latest track, Safe and Sound, uh, which is um, on their forthcoming new album, which I'm incredibly excited about. I'm a real big Justice fan. Um, and yeah, it was kind of inspired by the pad at the beginning of this track, um, which is, it almost has like a kind of psychedelic sound to it, um, it's very kind of like new disco, um, and I know like Justice aren't necessarily all new disco, there's a bit of electro and stuff in there as well, but um, this, this sound really fits into that kind of style. Uh, so I'll demonstrate the sound and then we'll go ahead and start creating it from scratch. Really, really nice smooth sound, um, and there's some cool things going on in the effects which really make uh, the sound what it is, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, so we'll go ahead and initialize the patch to begin with. As always guys, these videos are supported by my website over at synthhacker.com. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some presets for Serum and other synths all handcrafted by me, um, definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, either, again, by going to synthhacker.com or clicking the link in the description uh, down below. And thanks in advance if you decide to check that out. Uh, but without further ado, let's begin making this really cool pad sound from scratch. So. The first thing we're going to do is just switch oscillator B on. Um, as you can, uh, you will have been able to tell from the um, demo at the start there, we're just using basic saw waves um, for this sound. Um, I always kind of joke that like 90% of sounds in dance music are made up of saw waves, but really um, it's kind of what you do with the filter and effects and uh, modulation and stuff that really give you the, the differences in sounds. Um, so yeah, we're just starting with two saw waves. Um, we're going to keep oscillator A at the default pitch and then pitch oscillator B up an octave. Um, in both these oscillators as well, we're just going to add some voices of unison to add some fatness, um, which are all going to be detuned uh, slightly about the same amount on each oscillator. Um, so if we just bring down the volume now, we've just got this basic saw waves. We turn the sub bass off. So nothing too interesting going on there, but that's kind of like the building blocks of the sound that we're going to be starting with. Um, if we move uh, next into the amplitude envelope, we're going to give it kind of just the classic pad characteristic. We're going to increase the attack just a little bit and just bring this curve up and just add a little bit of release as well, not too much though. And next what we're going to do to kind of add a little bit of um, more of an analog characteristic to it, we're going to set up an LFO, we're going to use LFO2 here uh, to modulate the um, fine tune of both of these oscillators just to give it a bit of kind of like pitch drift, uh, which is really, really common in um, a lot of analog um, sounds. So we're just going to drag and drop that like so and same on this one here. <clears throat> And then what we're going to do is, in the LFO itself, we're going to take off the synced BPM and we're just going to bring it down to, like, I don't know, about 0.5 hertz. And what we'll get now is kind of um, a nice kind of inconsistent detune of the oscillators that isn't synced to the beat, which really gives it that kind of analog characteristic. You can kind of adjust this to kind of your own personal taste. Personally, I don't like it to be too detuned, um, but I think that sounds about right where we've got it set to at the minute. Um, next, moving on to the filter, we're just going to use a pretty simple um, low, uh, low pass 12 dB filter, and we're going to make sure that both of these oscillators are rooted through. Uh, we're not going to bother using any noise in the sound. That is something that you might want to think about adding um, later on, just to fill out the frequency range a bit. Um, and we're just going to bring the cutoff down a bit and then just simply use the amplitude envelope that we already set up to modulate the cutoff. Just drag and drop this on like so. And now we'll get a little bit more of a smooth uh, movement at the beginning of the sound. You'll kind of hear the, um, the amplitude envelope modulate the cutoff here to open it up ever so slightly. I'll just show you what I mean. Yeah. 
really, really nice. Um, I'm also just going to boost the resonance a little bit um, around the cutoff, um, just so that it kind of, um, I guess, exaggerates the, this effect a little bit more. Uh, so next, moving into the effects section, this is really where most of the, the characteristics of the sound come from. We're first of all just going to add a chorus, we're not going to mess with it too much. Um, you can really kind of um, adjust the mix to your own taste, but this really is just to kind of thicken up the sound even more. Um, next, what we're going to do is add a filter in the effects section, and this is really where the main sound's coming from. Uh, what I noticed about the pad sound in the Justice Track Safe and Sound is that um, it kind of has this like phaser effect on it um, and I played around with the phase, the actual phaser effect in Serum to begin with but I couldn't really get the exact sound I wanted and what I found worked a lot better um, was actually to use the um, phase uh, 48 plus um, effect and then actually set up an LFO on the cutoff with quite a high resonance um, and this gave a really kind of exaggerated um, almost cheesy I guess like phaser effect but it just works really well um, in this kind of like new disco style um, so make sure it's set to the phase 48 plus um, set the cutoff to just below halfway and push the resonance up a little bit um, and bring the mix back a little bit just so it's not completely um, dominating the whole sound um, and then what I did was set up this, uh, uh, um, this LFO here to uh, modulate the cutoff pr uh, position on the filter and then I set this to four bars because I did notice it was quite, kind of like a slow moving phase effect. And I'll show you the effect that this has now. Really, really cool effect. I absolutely love it. Um, next, I added an EQ, um, just a low pass. Um, sorry, a high pass filter essentially just to cut out some of the muddy low end. Uh, and I put this after the filter, just before our reverb, which we're going to put right at the end of the sound. Um, what's really cool in the, the latest um, update with, with Serum, um, I mean, it kind of depends when you're watching the video, obviously, but at the time of recording, um, one of the latest updates actually added another um, reverb type, which I'm really glad for, because it, to me it sounds so much better and more natural than the, the plate reverb that was already included. Um, and just kind of pushing the size up quite a lot and giving this a really wet mix um, and you know just maybe taking some of the low end out gives it a really great sound. <laughs> then add in the sub bass back in. And there you go, a really, really cool um, kind of psychedelic new disco pad sound with a really heavy uh, phaser effect. Um, the filters are really, really fun to mess around with with pads in the um, effects section. Um, you can just add some really interesting movement, especially with nice slow moving LFOs. It's just generally a really cool idea to mess around with on pads. Um, so yeah, hopefully you got a lot out of this video. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, so um, thanks for hanging in there and staying with me. Um, and yeah, hopefully you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so to stay up to date with new videos that I bring out in the future. And again, if you haven't done so already, definitely go ahead and check out my website over at synthhacker.com to check out my preset packs for Serum and other synths as well. Uh, so that's all from me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.